Okay, so we're back here in Blender. See, my computer is screaming, and I apologize. Probably wouldn't be so bad if I closed Marvel's Designer. All right. No, it's still dying. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, we are here in Blender, and we have our Solarian thing. We're going to go to a new layer, and I'm going to do File, Import, and we're going to put Wavefront OBJ. And we're going to find where I saved it. Cut clothes for lady. And you see our clothes are already here. Now hold down shift again and select the first layer with the body. And bring it on in. I can already see that there are some parts clipping on it. And it falls within the alpha range. But you still want to tailor it so that you know maybe you don't have to use it. It just depends on how lazy you feel like being that day. Um, I guess I could show you how to do it so that you can do it right, or you can just ignore it. It's up to you, really. So we're going to do some tailoring to this first. What I like to do is either, depending on the damage, if it's something like this, I like to go into sculpt mode and, uh, what's the word, use my inflate and just turn it up a little bit and just go and puff it out a little, tiny bit, like puff. Of course, it sucks when that happens. Deflate that. Oh, then I'm selecting the... <laughs> Sorry, if you click on the inflate and you notice that more skin is coming through your clothes, then you have the avatar selected and not the clothes. Let's get out of here. So what I want to do is go to scope mode. And let's see. Let's puff this out again. Did I... Oh. Make sure it says inflate this time and then puff that little part out, puff it a little bit here um, and there. You can turn the symmetry on so it does it on both sides. So you see, it goes there. That's just one way of doing it. You could like use the soft editor. I showed you how to use that in the other video. And uh, that's one of the easiest ways of getting everything lined up so you see no more stuff is coming through all right let's rig this baby so let's switch out of sculpt mode and go back into object mode now we're going to hold down shift and bring up our bone layer which is right below our avatar layer you're going to press a and deselect everything then you're going to click on your garment and make sure you go into object mode back so click on object mode uh, okay, so let's try it again now that everything is in object mode. Click on the, your garment. Hold down shift. Click on the bones. Now, you can click on any bone. Uh, the feet and the eyeballs are always sticking out. So you can always grab for them. But you can also grab the special shape down here. This also counts as the bones. So just grab whatever makes it easier for you. So once you have everything selected, it should look kind of like this. And what we're going to do is we can manually attach it or we can use Avastar. If you want to go manually, you can press Control P and then do automatic weights. I'm going to go back before we did that. Or you can go to Avastar, then Skinning, and then Bind to Armature. Mm. Weird. Huh. Alright, so let's see what happened here. Let's see if we can move. So click on the bones and press pose. Pre click on this and press R. Alright, it didn't move. So that's what happens when we bind with uh, Avastar. It just do not work. So what we're going to do is click on our clothes, hold down shift, click on the bones, then do control P, and then automatic weights. So now when we go to click on our bones and we go into pose mode, you click on a bone, press R, you see it moves. That's why you need to know how to do manual and avastar. In case one fails, the other one should work. So right now you see our clothes are rigged to the skeleton. We just need to transfer weights to the body and um, from the body to the clothes and that makes the weight painting process go a lot faster. So um, what we do, how do you do that? We're going to click on the body. Always click on the, the good weights first. Then hold down shift and click on your garment. 
if you find that your bones keep getting in the way just go into uh, see click on them press M well no you gotta go into object mode you can just put the bones on a different layer because the bones are already on a different layer and you find that they get in the way just uh, select the first layer and the layer with the clothes and then you'll be able to work without wearing uh, grabbing those so what we're going to do is click on our body hold down shift click on the garment switch from object mode to weight paint mode then go to tools scroll down until you see transfer weights and then you're going to push transfer weights so now we're going to select the bone layer and we're going to go back into um, object mode with it and then make the bones go into pose mode damn I messed up we need to st keep the garment in weight paint mode I'm sorry so now we're in weight paint mode and when you click on the bones you'll see that they are rigged a hell of a lot better than um, it was before and for some reason there's some weight on this leg that shouldn't be there hmm weird alright so we move it you see it's actually moving a lot better and if you like the way that it is rigged we can just go right into the exporting process so I'm I'll make another video on that one so I'm gonna pause it right here for a second and we're gonna go into exporting 